Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Today's practice is really going to work our legs and our hips. It's going to be beneficial for the second chakra, if you're into chakras. And it's also going to be great for the liver and gallbladder meridian, traditional Chinese medicine. So to start, have a couple blocks handy, and we are going to come onto our back. When you get here, bend your knees, bring your feet a little bit wider, and let your knees move into touch so they're supporting one another. Hopefully there's no strain anywhere. And then we can bring our hands onto our bottom ribs, holding those bottom ribs. Closing the eyes down, let's focus on an inhale and a longer exhale. Bring ourselves into this time and space together. And then we can heel toe the feet a little closer to one another. We're going to cross our right ankle over our left thigh. And then we're going to move our left knee towards our chest. So your options is to hold behind the left thigh. You can interlace the fingers there. Maybe some of you can reach to hold the left shin. I'm going to stay with behind the left thigh. And using a little effort in the arms and using a little effort of drawing left knee to chest. Let's see what is happening in the right hip, right IT band. And here we will stay and we'll breathe. And notice. So yoga is bringing together Western science and Eastern medicine. The Western science, we are, we're working our connective tissue, our muscles. And the Eastern science is we're working those meridian lines, those energy channels that correspond with an organ system. The connective tissue and the meridian lines like when you hold the shape. That's when they can organize themselves. They can relax. Okay, we can release the left leg. And you're going to keep your legs as they are, but just tip them to the left. Come into twisted roots, we like to call it. Very slowly. Maybe you want to reach your back arm out behind you. Just out of 45 from the body.
And then unhooking that right ankle and then drawing the knees back to center. Wiggling ourselves way over here to the right side of our mat, sliding the legs long. Let's walk the heels over to the left side of the mat. Arms overhead, we'll wiggle the upper body over to the left. We're coming into this half moon. And we can hold the right wrist in the left hand. And we can look to the left. And as we stay and breathe in these shapes, we're really not making a grocery list. We're investigating where we feel the gentle pulls and stretches, following them through the body. We're comparing our sides. And we can release the hands back down. Heel walk, the legs back to center. Notice if there's any little rebound, dull ache. Breathing here. Good, all right, slowly bend your knees, feet on the earth. And let's cross the left ankle on the right thigh, draw the right knee to chest, holding behind the thigh. You can use some arm strength and you can also, you know, move that right knee towards the body. So we can target into the left leg. Actively draw your right knee towards chest.
and then releasing the hands. Keep the legs as they are and let them spill to the earth on that right side. So our good twisted roots very slowly. We can extend that back arm out of 45 from the body. And just enjoy breathing here, twisted roots. And then hooking the left ankle, inhaling, bringing the knees back to center, and shuffle yourself over to the left side of your mat. And stretch your legs long, and now let your heels travel over to the right side of your mat. Upper body over towards the right, and the right hand will hold the left wrist. Then let's look towards the right. What did you notice on this side? Good. Let's bring the arms down. We can slide the legs back. And we'll bend one knee and the other knee. Let's hug the knees into chest. Maybe a little circles on the small back, on the low back. Other direction. Good, and then we will rock and roll to seated and we're gonna come all the way through to our table. Please find your blocks. We're getting a little bit more into the hips. So somewhere in the middle of your mat, tabletop, hands can be on the blocks. I'd say do them on the highest height. We will set the left foot forward on the left edge of your mat and you'll start to come into your low lunge. But then heel toe your left foot more towards the middle of your mat and let's roll on the outside edge of that left foot. Well, wing dragon, we like to call it. Top of the foot can come to the earth, that back top foot. And here's where we'll just sink for, I don't know, maybe six breaths. Um, I like to stay high on my blocks with my hands. Maybe you want to come down on your own. Longer exhale than inhale.
Maybe for these last three breaths, you can come down onto forearms. Nice to give the wrists a break. Last breath, super long exhale, let go. Good, and then coming back up onto your hands, if you came down, shift your weight back, shift your blocks back. You're gonna heel toe this left foot right across the mat. We're gonna come into a pigeon shape. So the shin, the knee, they come down to the earth. We slide the back leg long. Lately, I've been rolling onto my left hip. It's just nicer for my knee. If you want to stay upright, keep those hips more square, you can. You know, the way that you've been taught your pigeon. But yeah, lately I've been coming down and it just gives my knee a bit more protection. What do you want to do with your arms and your hands? Do you want to come down onto forearms, onto blocks? And settle in here. So liver health, gallbladder health, those are the meridian lines that run on the outside of the legs, the inside of the legs, through and around the hips till they join up with the actual organ. Good, all right, making our way on the left side, I can stay forever. It's the right side that's a little tricky. <laughs> so I like to bring my fist right below my shoulders, almost do like a little bit of like a push up so I can slide my right knee back and here I am back into my tabletop. And then I'll find my blocks again. We have that other side. So right foot, step it forward, find that low lunge. And then I like to heel toe in the right foot pretty much the middle of my mat, and then roll on that outside edge of your right foot. Winged dragon. <sighs> yeah, enjoy that first long <laughs> exhale. Right side's not my favorite. And then coming back up onto the hands, if you came down, shifting your weight back. So we have enough space to heel toe the right foot right across. So pigeon shape, something that resembles a pigeon shape for your body. And then either staying high on your hands or coming down onto the forearms. That's why the blocks are amazing, right? Can it's got three different heights there you can play with. Eyes can close down. And that longer exhale, 
then the inhale that just switches your body into a rest and digest which is all fight or flight and when we're in a relaxed healing state the body can open up a bit more and vice versa Let's take our final breath. And maybe coming up onto the hands. This is going to be a great little transition. Roll right onto your right hip if you aren't there already. And then we're going to swing the left leg forward. So we come to seated. Good. So we're going to keep the right leg down, knee pointing straight ahead. We're going to wrap the left leg on top. Let's try to stack the knees and you can open your feet up as much as you want. You can bring them nice and close to your hips. What works for your legs? But we do want to anchor both sit bones. So if you do that and then that top foot lifts off the earth, completely normal. We're going to set up nice and tall. So this is our shoelace shape. Just give a few breaths, letting the body reorganize itself. Good, and then we can slide the arms so they're alongside body. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, grow tall. Exhale, left hand to the earth, side bend through that right side, and we'll stay here and breathe. So two more breaths. So can you get in just a little deeper for two more breaths? Inhale to cartwheel the arms and we'll plant the right hand side then through that left side. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, maybe a little fold forward. I like to hold my feet. Maybe you like to have your hands out in front of you, but just adding a little more weight into our shoelace legs.
Last breath. We'll inhale, come back on up to center. All right, let's switch the legs. Top leg becomes the bottom. Help your legs. There's that rebound, dull ache, meaning you got in there pretty deep. All right, so shuffling yourself around. We're trying to stack the knees, and then we want to sit equally on both sit bones. So always when that happens, my top foot lifts off the earth. Totally good. All right, sitting up nice and tall. Close the eyes, breathe here, let the body reorganize. Maybe dropping back into the back body. Letting the body know it's safe. Safety to the body is quiet, slow stillness. All right, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, get tall. We're going to plant the right hand. We're going to side bend through the left to start. Notice if it's a bit sticky. Breathe into the sticky spot. Your next inhale, cartwheel those arms, plant the left hand and side bend through your right side. Beautiful. All right, inhale, come back on up to center. Exhale here. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, fold forward, adding more weight into the legs, maybe holding the feet, maybe holding the balls of the feet. And they fit quite well into the palms of your hands. So all our major chains of fascia are in the legs and all of our major meridian lines run through the legs.
Beautiful. All right, inhale. Very long exhale. Inhale, walk yourself back on up to center. Nice. Okay, square pose. Bottom leg becomes the top leg. So take your top leg. <laughs> Place it down on the earth. Uh, shin facing towards me. And then we're going to stack that other shin on top. Fire log or square. So again, you can see there's some space there, right? I can put a block there or a bolster or a cushion if I want. Why not? Sitting up nice and tall. Yeah, giving that moment for the legs to reorganize and say, what the heck? Now, I'm just going to gently place both of my hands on my left knee just for a little bit of weight. You can do this. You can start to fold forward. And maybe your hands are on the earth in front of you. With the eyes closed, we have the least amount of distraction. And take your mind's eye to your sacrum bone. It is this flat triangle bone pointing down. It is between your hips, super low. And so much connective tissue attaches to this bone. So this position, if you can imagine, it's giving like this nice little opening, creating some space. Allowing the blood, the fluids, the chi to move into this area. And this is your second chakra, where your second chakra resides. About three more breaths. Nice work. So just coming back to center and then help yourself move your legs and switch. Top becomes bottom. Bottom becomes top. I'm smiling because, yeah, they're pretty, it's pretty achy. All good stuff. All good stuff. Supporting that top knee, if you would like. Sitting up tall. Again, I'm just moving both my hands onto my right knee. Just the warmth, just a wee bit of heat. And then in your own time, if you just want to play with moving slightly forward. Stay connected with the sensations in your body. All right, we want to make this about the sacrum and the hips, not uh, the knees or the ankles. Be kind to those joints, they're little baby joints.
Now, before we move, we are gonna take the least amount of movement as possible. We're gonna go super slow, super stealthy into Savasana. So you may even wanna keep your eyes closed and then sliding your hands back to maybe where your hips are and leaning back or I guess helping your legs as well. Slowly straighten as wide as the mat and slowly come down to Savasana. Let your arms come out from the body, roll the palms down and let your knees and your feet roll open. Long breath in, long breath out. Feeling the bones really heavy, almost like a magnet to the earth. And then your muscles, connective tissue, tendons and ligaments are soft, warm and heavy, including your brain, heavy and warm back in the skull and your eyeballs, heavy and warm in the sockets. And seeing any colors or shapes dancing behind your eyelids. All right, you are welcome to stay here as long as you want. If you do want to come on up, though, we'll reach the arms overhead. A gentle, long stretch. Arms come back down. We can bend a knee, put on the mat, bend the other knee, put on the mat, roll to one side. Keep your eyes closed and come on up. We will seal in this practice. Bring your hands onto your knees. And then hands in prayer, heart center, and three things you're grateful for in this time and space. Cleansing breath in through the nose. Super long exhale out through the mouth. Eyes can flutter open when you're ready. And thank you. Thank you for practicing with me today.